happy Thursday morning to you all. Happy September 1st. I can't believe it's September. Yes, who has had a pumpkin spice latte already? They came out Tuesday. You've had one? Oh, no. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Duncan. You've had Duncan. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. Does it, that count? It counts. Okay. It counts, okay. yes. I've had Duncan. It came out, I guess, a couple of weeks ago, and then Starbucks was Tuesday. Yummy. Anyway, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm chatting while people watch the ads and get in here. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And Miss Rachel Langston is my cohort today, who is also an owner and craft educator. And we're glad that you're here. We are talking today about DTF. Yep. Oh gosh, there's so many DTs. Yesterday was DTB. Yes, that's why I'm a little confused. DTF powder and sublimating on 100% cotton. And I have left my shirt over there. I'll get it in a moment. Uh, give me a little onesie. Or not the onesie. The two um, small shirts like Charlie size. Okay. Because um, I think I'm going to make two shirts today. Um, anywho, thank you, Rachel. Oh, you're so kind to me. We're going to make a little shirt. These are 100% cotton shirts that we got from Hobby Lobby, and they were cheap. 30% off of $3.49. I still remember when I came here one day, I was like, Becca, I got the best deal on these shirts. They were like 30% off, and Becca was like, you idiot, they always are. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. So we're going to make, I think, I'm gonna. didn't you love that Oh Snap graphic? Yeah. Loved it. Okay, so we'll do that one for sure. Maybe he'll wear it around Thanksgiving mm. or Christmas or whatever. Um, really quickly, I want to give a funny story on Fallon before we get started. Oh gosh, this made my day. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to speed through it. Yesterday, while I was live, I got a text from Beckett's teacher that said, um, "Was Beckett supposed to have Chick Fil A today?" So at their school, they have Chick Fil A on Wednesdays, but they have to order it on Tuesdays. And he got in the car Tuesday. I said, "Bex, did you remember to order your Chick Fil A?" He said, "Yeah, I told Miss Tracy. That's his teacher." Fantastic. Sent him snacks, no lunch. Well, he didn't order. Turns out he told her he didn't want it. So I had to get him lunch, take it to, take it to school. And then I was just going to go home and do some filming. Got home, pulled in the driveway, and Fallon's teacher calls and say, or texts and says, I know you just left, but Fallon just had an accident and she doesn't have a change of clothes. And I was like, that's very weird because Fallon doesn't really have accidents. But I'm already home. I'll grab some clothes. I'll go back to the school. So I'm back to the school, pull her out of class, and she's sitting down. I was like, why is she sitting down if she's messed in her pants? Like, that seems uncomfortable. Yes. Whatever. She's five. Take her to the bathroom. I'm like, Fallon, your score is not wet. Did you just did you just pee a little bit on your panties or something? She was like, no, I pooped. I was like, okay. Okay, not a big deal. It happens. It happens. So we're taking her, you know, getting her and changing. I'm looking at her underwear. I'm like, honey, there's nothing in your underwear. There's there's not like a skid mark. There's, <laughs> there's mark. not like a poo. They're not wet. They're like clean underwear. And she's looking at it like, <laughs> like where did it go? What is going on? I'm dying laughing and she is so perplexed and I was like baby just tell me what happened she said well we were coloring and James who's her cousin who she blames for everything James made me laugh and so I farted but I thought I pooped it on myself <laughs> Valid. I love it I love it oh <laughs> so that was my day yesterday Amy said she just joined the live and poop was the first word she heard. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's get to crafting. So we did a live last week or the week before. Was it last week? I think. <laughs> week before, I think. With DTF powder and we used regular transparency sheets. We wanted to use products that other influencers and crafters here on YouTube and TikTok have been using and recommending. We didn't like them. We wanted to show you why we didn't like that. Um, what happens, how inconsistent it is, what the, if you're going to use that, what the best way to do it is. However, we don't recommend any of those. Um, so we wanted today to use the actual DTF film that you should use with the DTF powder. We have it linked below for you. There are other ones, as long as it says DTF film, you can use it for this, but it does make a difference. However, I have to tell you, the DTF film that we have will not go through our Epson sublimation printer. Doesn't go through the bottom tray, won't go through the rear tray. It gets jammed every single time. It's so flipping frustrating. 
It is A4 in paper size. So what is that? Like 8.3 by 11 point. It's a little bit 11.3. I don't know. It's, it's skinnier but longer than a letter page. So A4. So I thought, well, maybe that's the problem. So I cut it down to size. Not the problem. Problem is, is it just doesn't like it. So for us and this printer and this film, I have to tape it to <laughs> note Beckett's face. A piece of copy paper to get it to go through. It's really frustrating. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, because if you buy this stuff and can't get it to go through, I want you to try it this way too. Um, this step, if, if it weren't for this particular step, I really like this product. I really like the finish of it. Um, here's the one that I did. Go over him. It is really nice. Um, now you are using sublimation ink and it is on a shirt. So you're going to get better outcomes if it is a lighter colored shirt. So keep that in mind. However, today I'm gonna to use a black graphic. It's gonna look really amazing on this, but you can see it's not distressed. Um, it transferred really well. I didn't have any troubles removing the transfer like I did with the other one. So we're gonna go through this. Um, really quickly, let me pull up Illustrator and then I will go ahead and print this one out. And while this one is printing out, we will tape up another piece so I can, so I can show you how to do it. Also, Lynn said that she uh, has seen other people tape it as well. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. I haven't seen anybody have to do that. So yeah. I was really frustrated that mine wouldn't go through. Yeah. That makes me feel better. It adds another level of work. Just another you know? step. Yeah, yeah. just more work. Okay, so I have eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna use that O snap file. Let me find it really quickly. Under holiday, Thanksgiving. And then I need to measure how big it needs to be. Siri is talking to us. That's a little <laughs> creepy. Penny said, I ordered this yesterday. I'm glad there is a solution. Yes, there is. You're going to love the solution. Let me measure. Where is my measuring tape? Oh, it's in the wrong pocket. <laughs> Don't worry, you still have it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna make it four and a half inches in width. Oh, that might be huge. That makes it 7.3. <laughs> is his body even that long? That's too long. Let's make it smaller. Five, that will be cute, okay. Okay, so honestly, honestly, what I would do is print a couple of things because this is going to be a smaller graphic. And so they can't see what you're doing. Yeah. But they can hear you. Should I plug it in? It's totally up to you. It's fine. It seems fine to me. Okay. So I'm using, like, the graphic, am I, we're on me, right? The graphic is, like, this big on the eight and a half by 11. So I would probably do multiple things if you could fit other things on there. Not to waste paper, for sure. Not to have to tape another piece or, <laughs> or anything like that. Um, what's another graphic we could do that's a colored one, Rach, that you might like for Charlie? Do you, does one pop off your head? Is there a Halloween one that you like? I love all, all of the Halloween ones. Or a fall one that you like? Yeah, pick, pick any of them. They're gorgeous. Let's do, let's do spooky vibes, because I, I think that will look cute. Okay, another great question from Penny. I was a bit nervous because the product says I have to have a DTF printer, question mark. You do not. Nope. You do not. As long as you have a sublimation printer. Okay, let's make this one four and a half. And then just like with sublimation, you need to reverse your image. Mirror your image. So once that's mirrored... Sorry, I should have plugged up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Stacy says, uh, no, Trisha, my bad. I'm sorry. If you're using sublimation ink, why not, why not use sublimation paper? I'm not, I'm confused what the difference is. So that's a great question. Um, sublimation ink and sublimation paper only works for high polyester count shirts. So like I like, you can do 50 or more. It's going to look a little faded and distressed. 
I like 60 or more, 100% polyester is the best. This is on 100% cotton. If you sublimate on 100% cotton, it's probably just going to dissolve. If it transfers at all, it's probably just gonna dissolve overnight. Um, so this is a hack for using sublimation ink on a 100% cotton shirt. That is a great question. Um, let me change the paper size here. And then I'm printing using the glossy photo paper setting or just glossy paper setting. I'm gonna put it on the rear tray and I'm going to tell it to print the best quality. So let's go ahead and get this in here. And I hope it doesn't want me to push any buttons because I can't even see them. I can do it. I don't think it will have me. It's asking. Is it paper size? Uh, it's never mind. Is it eight and a half? And glossy. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So while that prints out, we can go ahead and cut another one and tape another one. I found. Okay. So first of all, when you get this. Thankfully, it tells you which side is the print side. Once you open it and are aware, it's very obvious. There is one that is more one side that is more textured than the other, and that's the side that you print on. That's the side that ink needs to go on. So it's sort of milky looking. This is super smooth. This one is textured. Not really textured, but it's got more of a texture. That's the side that the ink goes on. So I have my paper cutter here and I'm just going to cut this down to 11 inches perfectly. Toss this and then I have a piece of copy paper. Wow. Piece of copy paper right here that I'm going to layer under here. Again, this is the side you print on. Even it up here, and then I'm going to tape. Now, the way that I found is easiest. I go ahead and tape up here so that this doesn't move on me. And then I tape the bottom. Just like this. Flip it over. Smooth this out. And then... Tape this so that it doesn't like crinkle up on me up here. Make sure it's smooth. You don't want any air or anything like that in between. Um, is pet film and DTF film the same thing? Yes. Tape this side. And unfortunately, we have to tape the other side as well. I tried just taping the bottom. I tried just taping small segments of it. And what ended up happening is it would go in partially and then it would like pull apart kind of like this. Oh, okay. So it had to be taped. I don't, you don't have to do the top though. So that's nice. <laughs> There's a silver lining, I guess. Is this better than the easy subly paper? Yes, it is. The Easy Subly um, does a little bit of fading, in my opinion, and you can feel the Easy Subly when you're wearing it. It feels like there's a another layer to your shirt, whereas this is just smooth. You don't really yeah. feel it. Now, I, it is still like a material on the shirt. It doesn't sink in quite like sublimation does, but honestly, it's it's a really cool product. Whoa. Um, this might work. So, so this is the interesting thing. Sometimes it comes out looking like this and sometimes it's super smooth. I really don't know. It's always the same paper setting. So let me, I'm going to print it again just to see which one looks better. So I'm going to put this one in and print on it and then we'll use whichever one looks better. But while that's printing out, um, we can look at comments, answer questions, chit chat, because it does take a little bit of time, unfortunately. I'll flip it to you. To print out. I told Becca she's in like a cave where the printer's so big it makes the middle of the table look a little bit darker. Darker, yeah. yeah. You could be uh, preheating your heat press if you wanted to. Too. Yes, you are correct. Thank you. Guys, what are you doing this September? It's already September. Where has the time gone? I'm going camping tomorrow. Yeah, that, yes, Becca is going camping tomorrow. We're going to, we've never camped in Cherokee, North Carolina. It's about an hour and a half from here. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't even know that I've ever 
been to Cherokee. Maybe when I was a kid. Um, 3.85 and 35 seconds is what I'm setting this for. But we're going to a place called Happy Holiday with Alan and Lisa Welch. Lisa is a flock member and Anna and Mark. So we're really excited. The kids are super excited too. Um, Megan's leaving today to go camping. I think it's going to be a great weekend, Megan, for camping. Um... Uh, Megan, I agree. I think a DTF is terrible, terrible. In fact, Anna screenshotted our <laughs> live because um, this was scheduled a while ago. And she screenshotted. She was like, who came up with this? This is terrible. It is. It sure is. <laughs> um, it's my birth month, so spoiling me all month. Katie, happy birth month. Yes, mom's going on a cruise. She leaves Sunday to go on a cruise. She has a lifelong bucket list dream of swimming with dolphins, and she gets to do that. So that's going to be awesome. Yeah. I told her, because we did it, that last cruise we went on like four years ago in January, I got to swim with dolphins, and did oh you? my gosh, it is such an experience. Bailey did it on her honeymoon, uh, my best friend Bailey, uh, I think five years ago. Yeah. Um, I've never desired that. I, it freaks me out to think about I'm telling you, any chance... It freaks me out. <laughs> any chance I get to do it, I will do it. Will you? I will. It is... It's magical. It really is. I don't want to be in the water with anything. Yeah. And, oh, I don't, I don't get in the ocean. Not a fan. Ugh. It creeps me. When something touches my foot, I'm like, oh, God. Cheryl said, hey, Flock, I just got a new-to-me camper, Tab 400. So excited. That is so That's exciting, awesome. Cheryl. So, are is it like a fixer up or do or like are you gonna do stuff to it or is it good to go do you do you have any modification plans yeah. for it i don't know that this is any better looks the exact same okay, so we're just gonna go with it we'll just go with it it's frustrating well, that one looks a little better so i at this point yeah i yeah. think so too just cut around You could cut these apart if you wanted to. I'm gonna keep them together and put the DTF powder on it and bake them both together. And then we'll transfer them separately. So cutting this off releases the, the taping. Do not touch this at all. Don't touch it with this. Don't touch it with your fingers. It will smear, it will ruin. You'll have to reprint it. It's a whole thing. So I use this tub here, place my image in the bottom of the tub and then I open my bag here. I have a scoop in here that I just leave and then sprinkle it on. It doesn't matter if you're heavy handed with it because you can reuse this. So don't feel bad about it. You definitely want it to be completely covered. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna carefully pick up the side so that I don't accidentally touch any of the ink and we'll get rid of some of this. And then I'm just gonna kind of slosh it around here to slosh. make sure, slosh, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> to make sure that there's a really great even coat on here. And then if you're really paranoid about it, you can recover and do it again. However, it doesn't really need that. Jessa, hello. She said, hello, y'all. I'm late, but glad to be joining in. I missed yesterday's live and had to settle for the replay. That's okay. Well, We're glad you're here. Yeah, yeah, we're so glad you're here today. Um, speaking of replays and subscribers and all that, did you all notice we're at 3.4 or 9.4 thousand subscribers on the YouTubes? Amazing. Phenomenal. You guys just are blowing us away with the rate at which you all are subscribing. And we're super, super <clears throat> grateful. Okay. So it's covered. I'm going to place it here. It's at three. It's at 298. So um, I can, you can bake it at that. It will just take longer. I'm going to leave it open for a second and go ahead and put this stuff back in the bag. While that happens. So I just get like a paintbrush brush it down and then dump this back in my bag. How much do you think we have left, Becca, from oh all your gosh. testing and everything? So much. So one bag will probably do you forever. For, for a long time, long, long time, honestly. It doesn't use that much. It really no. doesn't. I was making um, a plate with 
some etch-all the other yes. day, and you can reuse it just like this. Right. And I said, we'll probably have this forever. Forever, yeah. honestly. I don't know that we'll ever get another one, unless it's, it just gets gumpy and yeah. disgusting. It's awesome that you can buy something and use it for the, you know, the length of time that I agree. you'll be enjoying the craft. There I go again, wiping the table with our shirt. I swear, Becca. <laughs> okay, so it's at 3.30 right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and bake this. And what I do, you can do this also with a heat gun, um, but I just do it here, it's really quick to do it. I just hold this to where it's almost closed, but just really close to it. And yeah. then you'll know it's finished baking when it changes the color. I'll show you in just a second. And everyone, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yeah. already. And listen to this, not to call anybody out, but I was digging on our YouTube analytics yesterday and the percentage of our subscribers who have notifications turned on is only 16%. I didn't 16, even know that you could look at 16 that. 16% of our subscribers have their notifications on. So if you want to be notified when we go live so you don't miss a live, if you want to be notified when one of our amazing pre-recorded videos goes out on the weekend, you have to click that bell and get notified for that. So let's grab some more subscribers today. Make sure you click that bell and get notified for us. That would be amazing. Rach, I attempted the power wash tumbler and I don't really know what I did wrong, but I can tell you it was not as easy as you made it look. Crystal, Crystal. it really is. It really is. Yeah. Honestly, that was our first, pretty much our first take. So yeah. what, what do you not like about what let, happened? Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Because that was, I'm trying to think. I think it was our second. We did one outside. Cause let me, when we're completely transparent here, the first one I did, I put not enough power. But wash. you said that in the video. Oh yeah. yeah. I showed you guys the second one I put two, or the third one I for the other one that wasn't the finished one. I put way too much. It's a, you know, sometimes it can be tricky. Definitely let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Right yeah. Now, we want to help you troubleshoot Cause Becca's it. done it too. We both could help you for sure. Yeah. Thank you guys for letting me know your notifications are on. You guys are amazing. Yeah, I saw that 16% and I'm like, oh no. Oh, well, no. and something crazy, like only 30% of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed to our channel. Yes, yes. So if you're watching right now, tell me this. Would it hurt you to subscribe? Just click would it, it. Would it hurt you? Oh, oh click. click. Oh, it does. Oh, click. Done. It'll take five seconds. And it Let helps it. us. It helps Oh, it helps us. us so much. We're trying to reach a goal, people. You guys are amazing. It's taking forever because it wasn't heated up all the way. Oh, it yeah. normally doesn't take this long. I'm just Crystal. not a pro face. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> Crystal, I love you. <laughs> you said I'm not a professional like Rach. Oh, that's hysterical. Russ and I both have notifications turned on. Thanks, Whoa, Stacy. Thank Thanks, Russ. What does this magical powder do to the sublimation print, Becca? It makes it stick to 100% cotton. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty it cool. is. It is a really neat process. I was notified today, but when I went to YouTube, it said notif it said notify me was not on. Whoa. That's interesting, Penny. Well, and Miss Linda has notifications turned on, but is not getting notifications. She gets notifications to other channels that she has turned on, but not ours. It's very, oh no, I touched it. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was talking. Uh. Well, at least you didn't touch the top one. Oh, I did. I mean, I didn't touch that one yet. But you can't tell. Like, it doesn't have anything missing. I'm going to go with it. And then I'm going to have to clean this before I put the shirt on it. I should really pay attention to what I'm doing instead of talking. There's too much stuff going on. There's too much stuff going on. Um, we'll talk about this, too. We're not using the auto press because it doesn't give as much pressure as we like for this particular project. So... If you have a heat press like this, or if you're using an easy press, make sure you give some really good firm pressure, but our auto press just doesn't give us enough pressure. I'll also say this, the um, HTV Ront one doesn't give enough pressure either, but the tray is really nice because you can put this on the tray and put it in and then bake it without having to hold it. So oh, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, okay, I'll show you. This is what it looks like when it's finished. See how the color came out. You don't see the white crystally powder everywhere. Actually, this right here, let me let me bake that part just a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna grab, I guess, a piece of paper or something and try to 
to get that one spot off that I <laughs> cooked to the top. And we are getting some questions about notifications. So I do want to let you guys know, in order to get them like 100% properly, because sometimes you'll get emails and things about them, you do have to go into your phone settings, find the YouTube app, and click to allow notifications to be sent to like to your phone through the app. Like an SMS yes. instead of an email? Yes, something like that, that that pops up on your, you know, on the top of your screen, like, hey, Oak and Lame is live. Otherwise, Things it's like just that. an email that goes yes, through. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. So if you want notifications like that, even though your bell is turned on, it still won't notify you uh, quite the way that uh, that it will if you switch I'm it. I'm sad about phone. how that printed out. Real sad about it. I don't know what's up with it. Okay. Let me try to get some of this off before I ruin everything. Is that just a piece of paper? Yeah. I'm going to try to, like, bake it off, yeah. I guess. I don't know. What would you all do? How would you get this stuff off the top? Aside I, from, like, cooling it down and wiping it off. That's probably what they're all going to say. So. Yeah, but I, I can't really do that right <laughs> no, now. No, no. Um... Sell the auto press. Yeah, Honestly, we've thought it. about it because I really have thought about it. But I'm trying to decide if I would need it for any other content yeah. before we do that. Space-wise, I would love to get rid of the auto press and the HTV one and just have this one. Honestly, we need to spend like three days in here just getting, That's working. getting rid of stuff. I'm going to do it one more time. Um, the other thing is, is I don't have an, a heat press at home. So I could take one at home to home. And then that way if... Um, we need it, then I can just bring it like from your there. Your craft room is the size of Harry Potter's room. It is. It is. <laughs> you can that fit, or you might not put it in there. No, I would, but Did I would you... put it like under that little oh. desk that's in the corner. Oh, that, that makes sense. Yeah. That'd fit there. Harry Potter's room. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> this is working. I'm going to do it one more time. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, hot. That is hot. Yes, take one home, Christina says. Yeah, that's probably what will happen. Probably what will happen. My mug press just collects dust. Not even sure the last time I used it. I don't know the last time. Well, because we had to get ours replaced. And I did one live. And it's not been used since then. Nope. I okay. wonder. I want to know how many auto presses Cricut has sold. I want to know. I want to know the number. I wish Ashish would tell us. We need to know. I saw the lamp. Did you see in person lamp? at Hobby Lobby? Are they in clearance yet? <laughs> they were full bright. Well, um, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me cut these apart here. <laughs> Trisha said, "Becky, you'll need to buy that bigger house for your heat press." For sure. There you go. There you go. Missy, she said, "I used my mug press once." Okay, I'm just placing this on here. You can use um, heat-resistant tape if you want to, if you're afraid that it's going to move on you. In fact, I'm already, always afraid that things are going to move. But I don't know that Charlie's even going to want to wear this because it looks a little pixelated. I hate how it printed out. But that's what happens when you craft live. All my other tests were fine, and then it decides it went to print like this. So that's fine. Okay little bit of tape layer. If this one doesn't come out good, I'm probably not going to waste the other shirt with the black one. We'll see. Tammy said, good morning. I'm late. Dang people feel the need to call me while I'm at work, while you all are on. How rude. rude. Tammy, that is rude. 35 seconds with a lot of pressure. You don't have to have that much pressure. I just like it. Um, and then we're going to peel cool. Lynn says she really likes her mug press. Lynn, we do too. We just don't make a lot of sublimated mugs anymore. Um, we're really into UV resin right now. So everything that we make has UV resin because we've done the power wash tumblers. We've done um, the fabric tumblers recently. And Rach, you know what we don't have here at Oak and Lamb? Tell me. A glitter tumbler tutorial. We've done pins, I think. Have we done pins? No, we did alcohol ink. No, we've done glitter pins. But I don't think we have a glitter tumbler tutorial because Lisa... Are we not? I don't think so. Lisa went to make one and had to watch one of your old videos because we don't have one here at Oak and Lamb. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this... I hate this. I'm really mad about this. 
I want to print it again. Oh, and we have some with the, um, that great double-sided adhesive, but no classic right, glitter tumbler. Right, just classic, yeah. like where you tape the top yeah. with okay. the, we need to do that. Oh, man. I'd go back to the old days. I'd love to do that for it's you good. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, we're going to peel this cool. Do you want me to print another one to see if it will print out without being yucko? Up, up to them. Does yeah, it? you all let me know. I don't mind to do it if you want me to. It, the only thing that'll change... It will just look more smooth. Yeah, it'll just look a little bit smoother. That's annoying. I do want the glitter tumbler tutorial. I'll give it to you. Great. I'll give it to you. Christina, I did not find out what the high offer was for my house because I couldn't find anything that I liked, so I didn't even want to go there and get my hopes up. Just didn't even ask. Megan, I don't know if this is okay to ask. Megan, anything is okay to ask. When I say we're open books, it's probably too much. Too much so. Yeah. She says, could Rachel do another glitter pencil tutorial? Yes. I definitely could do that. Those were super cute. Those were really cute. But yeah, they all do want it. Perfect. You love it. Can you remove DTF from the shirt? We've never tried. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried. I don't know. That's a great question. It doesn't, it doesn't have, like, you don't feel it like you feel vinyl or printable vinyl. It's more like sublimation, but not, it's hard. It, like, it's hard to explain it. So this is cooled. You can go ahead and remove. So look, look how it peels off. Hold on, let me get that rid of it. That is gorgeous. It is, but I'm so sad. Did they say they wanted me to try yep. another one or no? Yep. They do? Yep. Okay. I'll try a different image, too. Maybe this is just too much ink. It's not terrible. No. Guys, this looks great. That looks awesome. It's just dark. I love it. I think because... But it, f it feels really great. I love that. It's not distressed. It's too cute. It feels so good. And you can stretch it, too. I love it. I just hate how it printed. Let's try again. Which means I get to cut and tape another piece of this stuff with you all i'm so excited it fell on the floor okay let me move this over because it's burning me up i've always used the glossy paper setting should i try another paper setting sure you want to do plain yeah okay i'll have to switch that on the printer don't let me forget well i think i can yes i'll i'll change it here and then it'll ask to confirm right okay. there Cap. Well, crap, Becca. Now I want this stuff. Why do you girls do I know, this? No, I'm me? sorry. I really am sorry, Cat. But I, I'm sorry. It is. It's fine. I've gotten like 14 pieces out here. Awkward silence. Sorry, I was reading comments. No. <laughs> Would water seep through the design if it was used on bibs? I don't know. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I mean, it, she said, my postal carrier sure gets his cardio in thanks to you and my orders. <laughs> you're doing him a favor, yeah. Penny. You're doing yeah. him a favor. Brenda <laughs> just popped in back to school classroom setup today. Have a good day. Brenda, thank you. Yes, good hey. luck setting up your classroom. Absolutely. All right. See what happens here. And we had a question. Let's hear it. Is the DTF film expensive? It is $26 right now on Amazon. Amazon prices are subject to change, yada, yada, for 30 sheets right now. So that's not bad. Mm -mm. That's not bad. Not terrible. $26 for 30 sheets. I do have to say, though, it's frustrating. I haven't found DTF sheets. I'm sure you can. Look and see if you can find sheets that are larger than, like, more like 13 by 19. You want me to do that? Yeah, because okay. if you're making a shirt for an adult, you're not going to really be able to fit a good size graphic on this sheet. Is that A4? Yeah. So B, B or, uh, I think, is it A4 plus or, I can't remember. It has two different ones that. 
Um, they're saying since you're changing the paper setting, it might be best to use the exact same design to see if it looks okay. different. We'll do. ETF. I chugged my coffee right before this live and now I have to pee. Ooh, coffee always makes me happy. So there's that, in case you all are wondering. <laughs> if you got to go, just turn your mic off. No, oh, yeah, I'm good. I'll hold it. I'll pee on myself before I okay, do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Super B, thank you, Amy. Thank yeah, Super you. Super B, thank you. Things like that just totally leave my head when yeah. I need it the most. Plus, who named that? This is so annoying. I have to say, it's okay, so annoying. I don't annoying. think they make it. I, I, I've never seen it that big, but I didn't want to say that they don't make it before we checked. I, I'm not seeing it now. I've only dived into this for maybe like three minutes looking so at it. So it annoys me that you couldn't make larger hoodies with larger graphics. It is dedication, right? It's how much I love you all. This is now the third time I've done this today. Tape that paper, Becca. Tape, Tape it. it. Yeah. Oh, almost finished here. Then we have to wait forever for it to print out. I can't believe you're teaching them how to make fat heads next week. You're not making the one with my face on it. Did I say I wasn't? No, I just saw some files in design space that. Oh, that was for a birthday party. Never mind. Unrelated. Your picture is on the thumbnail. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. Well. Okay, let's change the paper setting to plain. Oh, Jane, she said, I finally made it to a live. I love you girls like having friends to craft. It means a lot since I recently lost my husband. Jane, I'm so sorry. Very sorry, but I'm we're so, happy so that sorry. we can be here for you in that, in this capacity, we for are. sure. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for being here and taking time out of your day to spend time with us. Yeah. Yeah, it's so sweet. We love you all. It's yelling at us, Rachel. What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I think that the plain paper setting is going to put more ink on it, which will make it smear more, which scares me, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start taping another one just in case. Oh, oh my gosh, I just yawned really big and loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, for a second, I forgot that my mic was even <laughs> on. Oh, oh, man. Better than me chewing gum. That's true. That you is true. You guys get on to me for that. I had to spit my gum in Becca's hand during a live one time. You sure did. Because you all were like, who's chewing gum? I'm like, oh no. Rach, that was almost three years ago now? Four? When was that? When did I start? Three, 2019? Three years. Three years. Almost three years ago. Seems like we've been, seems like we've been together longer than that. I know. I know. Our, our relationship's in the baby phase. Okay, this actually worked really Does well. Does it look good? Let's but see. It's Let's so see. frustrating Let's because I've used the glossy paper setting on yeah. every single Ooh. test look how good that looks, that looks that's good. how it's supposed that to look looks good that ticks me off okay it's okay jen said i yawned in reflex i'm sorry jen. no becca <laughs> and becca and wayne both do i tell them they're weak-minded <laughs> actually what that means becca. it means they're they're empathetic they have yes, empathy if, yes if no it's actually a good thing if you don't yawn when people do it means you have no empathy <laughs> Not according to my me. My dog could yawn and I'll yawn. <laughs> Honestly. You have a lot of empathy, though. <laughs> Rachel, how is James doing? He's doing okay. A little better every day, but he's waiting for those scabs to fall off, you know. Oh, gosh. Uh, he can't sleep very well at night, of course. They still so, haven't fallen off? No. no. Mm. So he's, you know, he's all right. It takes a long time to get back to yourself after a tonsillectomy, when you're older at least. Um, did I miss when you painted your tape dispenser? No, this it was already cute like that. This is a little bitty dispenser. 
that Becca keeps locked away in her desk. She just gave me a look. She seems bitter about it. I was trying to just, I was trying to gauge this this situation. <laughs> oh gosh. I just like to say things are locked. Becca's never locked her desk. She it does have a lock, but I don't even know where the key is. I'm not even reminded that either. I gotta keep my snacks locked up, you know. <laughs> Cause my kids are like, Mom, I need some popcorn. I'm like, I don't have popcorn. And they're like, Rachel has popcorn. She, you, your kids can eat anything. They do. I miss those kids. Nikki, he just had his, uh, his tonsils removed. He's totally fine. He's needed them out for years, so uh, he just jumped in and got those removed. Um. What setting did you use this time? Linda, this plain, was plain paper. paper setting. Plain paper. I'm telling you, it makes zero sense. Like, <laughs> that's why I hate. However, <laughs> you do know, like, you wouldn't ruin a shirt. You would just waste a piece of paper. If it printed it out and looked like the first one, you know that's not right. It's yeah. supposed to just look smooth. Yeah, like a normal print. Yeah. For sure. I'm trying to pay attention and make sure I don't melt this one <laughs> to the top of my heat press. We should get, like, a thimble or something and set it down in the corner and just shut it on the thimble. That way it's open, but just a little. Yeah. Just add another step to the process. Now have a thimble. We could also use a heat gun and really just True. not even have to do this. True. Tammy, I was a nurse manager for an ENT office, and adults that got tonsillectomies were the worst. When the scabs fall off, it's raw all over again. Tammy, you are making my stomach turn. Ugh. Ugh. Like, how long is the healing process? Long, long. Before your completely, like, throat looks fine, I'm pretty sure it's like a month. But I think you feel decent after about two weeks. Um, so I switch yeah. it because the heat is closer on this back side because the it's not flat. So if you flip it, like, halfway through, then it bakes it more evenly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aaron, Rachel, I missed your hair. Miss... Like you missed my long hair or missed like, what do you mean? Or getting it cut and colored. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't I know what she meant. I all my hair off and then last week. And then week, did it again. This was this week. I do have to say it looks better now. Thank you. This cut looks better. I mean, I well, like I the other this, one. but I this one. This cut. You even style it better. It's got like more volume. Yes. I love yeah. this cut. I love this cut. Nice. I, was be, I was be, I'm like, Annie, you got to go shorter. She's like, Rachel, no. Okay. It's finished baking. Looks really nice let's see let's see let's see cute now we're gonna put it on here a little bitty shirt we love using little kid shirts well they fit on camera better they sure do also if we happen to have a model they're a lot cuter than we are oh rachel sure. <laughs> charlie is gonna look ridiculous in i this. can't even wait oh my gosh oh I gotta get it perfect because this one's gonna be perfect. Everyone's like, I'm so glad I got my tonsils removed when I was little. It's definitely the, the time to do it. Time Does this look good? It. Does it look on looks good to me? It's a tricky cut file I because know, the because wishbone is kind of at a little curved. bit of an angle with the text is straight on. I so agree. I totally get why you're overthinking it a little bit. Okay. It probably won't matter once I actually Crystal, right great question. Would you say that the pressure of the clamshell is necessary for this product, or could it be done with an easy press? You know, it's very interesting. When we were doing our tests with the with the regular transparency sheets, not these, the more pressure was better. In fact, um, I did not like the less pressure of the auto press at all. And I will say this: of all of the influencers and crafters that we have watched. Nobody uses an auto press. It makes me wonder if and they... And the influencers we know do have them. Yes. It makes yeah. me wonder if they've come to the same conclusion as us. Yeah. I, I just prefer... I just prefer this. There's not a project... Look at her. Look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There's not... I, again, I, I know that I can make the pressure less, but I just don't like to. I like to see Rachel really struggle. Oh my lord, it's it's bad. Well, the bad part is that the table is so high, so yes. we're like doing it from up here instead of down here. Okay, Becca. So for someone who doesn't doesn't know DTF for the process of this, yes, kind of what what are we doing? So you print out using sublimation ink and a sublimation printer onto DTF film, which is like a transparency sheet, but not. Um, don't get transparency sheets. 
And then you put this powder once the, when the ink is still dry or still wet, excuse me, you put the powder on it. So you need to do it pretty much immediately. And then you bake the powder until it is no longer crystally looking. Then you put it on the shirt and press it for 15 seconds or 35 seconds, I'm sorry, at 385 and then you cool pill. And this just enables you to use sublimation ink on 100% cotton. I wish I was recording that in the, like in another capacity. You said that flawlessly. Thank you. Beautiful example or Thank you. explanation or whatever the word is. Thank you. It's very interesting. I'm getting the settings and everything confused with the easy color yes. from yesterday. That's yes. why I said 310. There's too, there's yeah. too many, too many things. It's a lot. A lot. Yeah. It's a lot. So uh, cool pill. This is going to be adorable. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. So cute. <laughs> and the black, the black really just pops really nicely on yeah. this gray. It looks really great. I don't mind seeing the heather gray underneath the image. I don't mind it. I think it looks neat on the other colors. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. It, it just looks distressed. Yeah. 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 I have both materials, but I have not tried either one. I just keep on watching your videos to give me the courage. Yes. Um, what does it feel like on the shirt? It is very smooth. Um, I'm trying to think. There's nothing really that compares. I can't feel, I can feel where it starts and stops because I can feel the smoothness of it, but there's not like an edge around it at all. No, it, it kind feels of feels a lot like, like direct to garment. Yes, dye, like, like this, yeah. direct to garment. Yeah. It feels a lot like this. That's true. Um, it's kind of like screen print, but more smooth, not as thick. I just think of the shirts at Michael's that go on sale and being able to use this yeah, cat. That's that's where we got. I got a slew of gray um, shirts from Hobby Lobby. Rach, how much are those shirts? Like two ninety seven or something Cheap. ridiculous. Yeah, hundred percent cotton Gildan or Gildan or however you want to say it. Amy, I know, right? Like, how do they keep coming up with all these new things? It's very interesting. Yeah, okay. Jen said, please, someone release a product called WTF next. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is cool. So we can go ahead and peel it off. I'm gonna take the tape off so that we have a nice, good reveal. What's Anna texting about, Rach? I'm not telling you. Is it it's important? No, it's not important. Okay. Okay. Peel this off. See how easy this peels off compared to using the other, in our other comparison. Oh my gosh, look. Rach, look how perfect this looks. It looks store-bought. Do y'all see this? I mean, perfection. Guys, my, my jaw is just to the floor. It is amazing. That is beautiful. I am obsessed. I love this. That is beautiful. It really is. And guys, this is not like heat transfer vinyl. This is this is not going to stick no. on there. You're not going to feel it like that. It's not going to come off after two washes. Now I want to spray that. water on it so that you all can see. I'm going to use this one. See what Tammy happens. said in all caps with like four exclamation points. Perfection. Thank you, Tammy. No See, running. She just said, what would happen if you spread it with water now? Wink, wink. No Nothing. running at all. Nothing. Now the darkness, it's because she wet it. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, like, this dry. black didn't yeah. come over on the orange. Beautiful. It's amazing. Beautiful. Oh, this shirt. I... I'm pretty happy with it. That one's so, th oh, look at it. It's kind of perfect. I want to feel it. It's perfect. I got water on the back of it. Stop I it. I know it. I know it. You can't even feel it. It's on amazing. On the shirt. This is, I would pick this over HTV. Oh, any gosh. Day. Thousand times. Becky, if you close your eyes, you can't feel it on mm -mm. my shirt. No. I'm so impressed. It feels so good. I'm so impressed. So perfect. I'm so impressed. Now I want to make my kids a hoodie to wear, but I already ruined Becca's hoodie yesterday with that easy subway that's going to bleed everywhere. <laughs> Again, I think a little wash, a little time in the washing machine, and it would be fine. Yeah, so we had so many people who were helping us out with 
basically troubleshooting yesterday's easy subly um, because it worked really well but when we put water on it it ran and they were like you need to wait 24 hours yes we waited an entire week um, but another member miss susan emailed and said that they recommend that you wait the 24 hours and then you wash it before you wear it and there shouldn't be bleeding after that um, i'm gonna try that i don't really really know if that's gonna work but we're gonna try it um, and then another member mentioned that what kind of ink you use matters, pigment versus dye. And pigment is more permanent, dye runs more. We do use pigment-based inks. So we're still trying to, we're troubleshooting all of this, trying to figure it out. Um, but you don't have to worry about that with this. Crystal so said, nice. can we get an Oak and Lamb Shopaholic support group around here? My name is Crystal and Becca makes me buy things. <laughs> Cute. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. Speaking of making you buy things, I just applied for a um, influence, not an influencer, and it's not an associate. What's the? Oh god. <laughs> it's like an affiliate. Affiliate. Thank you. An affiliate program on this product that you all are going to break out over the color cube. Did I show it to you? I told you about it. Did I show it to you? Oh, I cannot wait. You're yeah, kind of love it. I cannot wait. I'm sure I'll yeah. love it. Becca loves it. Usually I love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, um, today is Thursday, so we will not be live tomorrow. We do have pre-recorded content going out tomorrow. Rach, which is going out tomorrow? Tomorrow you guys are going to be able to see some UV resin must-have products. Okay. So that's going to be fun. And then on Saturday you're going to see the fall haul video that I did last weekend, I'm actually making those projects for you. So all those products I share with you, I'm using them to create really cute projects. So yeah, how many did you do? Eight. Yeah, it was a lot. Eight or nine. It was yeah. a lot. So was, I can't wait for y'all to see them. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can bake this using a heat gun, absolutely. Yeah. Why, Becca, why? I know, Kat, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know, but this thing that I'm talking about, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. And it's going to look really cute in craft rooms too. So it's a double whammy. Like <laughs> you're just, just get ready. Just yeah. get prepared. Um, yes, Rachel, thank you. Cause I haven't mentioned this at all. She just shared our, our it's link okay. for you all. I've if, been sprinkling it in. If you enjoyed this content, you would love to be a member here at Oak and Lamb. We do all sorts of different crafts. We love to especially find the new hot trends for you all. Test them out. Give you our honest feedback weigh the pros and cons with you all um, and we also like to teach new techniques we haven't gotten to do a lot of glow forge or woodworking or sewing here lately that we like to do because there have been so many new products and new techniques come out that we've been jumping on those but we do like other craft techniques as well in addition our membership gives you access to our library of cut files which we add to constantly we have almost 700 cut files now and we started less than a year ago so that's really exciting you get a free commercial use license with our membership so that you can use those cut files legally to sell products that you make. And you get access to our member only content as well as our private Facebook group, which is the number one perk of membership here at Oak and Lamb. So click the link below and join. If you want to pay all at once, you get a massive discount for doing that. It is a discounted price regularly and we're offering you an additional $35 off by using the code 35OFF, 35 off. So click that link, apply the code and check out. If you prefer to pay monthly, that option is also there for you. So join let us know if you have any questions and if you happened to join today we're going to stick around for a few more minutes let us know give us a little wave say i'm new to the flock introduce yourself and we'd love to give you a shout out as well cat has a good question yep. uh can this be used on darker shirts or the same with sublimation keep it lighter yeah um somewhere i have a tea towel that has some dark on it right here i'll show you yeah. in so fact i meant to bring this over so you could see um, I did, this is on white and a dark gray and you can see the difference. It's the same principle. It's not going to show up as well on the darker colors. See, it's brighter here and not as, as much there. So stick with the lighter colors. Unfortunately, I was hoping that that barrier would create more of a, like a lift. An opacity. To, oh, yeah. No. Almost what it need. The DTF powder almost needed to be like white when it was baked. Yes. So that it, it would 
Yeah. 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 So we're just doing hand gestures, but I know what you're saying. It's very interesting. I'm wondering if they're getting the full conversation because we're going, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I know what you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> like you're just talking yes. to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so great question, Kat. That was a fantastic question. Anything else? Happy capping. Thank you, Maria. We are going to have a super fun time, I'm sure. Joining was the best decision I ever made. Desmond, That's thank you so for saying sweet. that. I'm old flock. Yes, you are. Happy and safe Labor Day weekend, Flock. Yes, we do have a Labor Day event coming up on Monday. Make sure you're here. It starts at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's probably going to be somewhere between an hour and two hours, not a super long one. Well, just popping in, saying, hey, yeah. doing some fun stuff, announcing some stuff, maybe a giveaway or two. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see yeah. what happens. But plan to be here. We would love to. We're going to do a little bit of crafting. We do have a big announcement we're super excited about. Um, we've talked about it a little bit, but I'm not going to say anything else about it today. Maybe you seen that live maybe you haven't if not too know. bad you'll know soon yeah it's gonna be fun you'll um, have a safe labor day have fun yes any recommendations on videos to convert printers for sublimation i would recommend looking up your specific printer if you're talking about this one there is a video do you remember who that guy was it was no, a black but, gentleman. Yes, but he it was really easy to and understand. he was that's what I was gonna say he was really amazing Let me look to follow really quick yeah um, looking forward to the Labor Day event. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Susan. Um, Anna's announcement. No, it's not Anna's announcement. I still haven't converted my 7310 to sublimation. I'm nervous because of the chips and stuff. So, Jessa, it's really this easy, let me tell you. you. If you didn't put, if you open the box up and didn't put the cartridges in it that come with it, so just the regular printer cartridges, then that's great. You don't have to flush any lines or anything like that. If you did put that ink in, then you're gonna have to flush the lines before you put the other. Otherwise, it's as simple as opening up your new cartridge, using the syringe to put the ink in there, shake the cartridge up and put the cartridge in just like you normally would and you're good to go. It is so simple. Like I was kind of floored. I kept thinking there has to be more to this. I have to be doing this wrong, but it's literally that simple it's amazing i can't find his but if you look up how to convert put your printer name in ours comes up 20 different videos some are 10 minutes long super easy video so like becca said definitely look up your particular printer or you're going to be super confused but there's a lot out there are the files you created in your other channel mgl in oak and lamb no that's a great question they are not those are property of mgl because i made them while i was employed there and so they are exclusive mgl files um cosmo inc has great videos okay what time is the labor day thing 6 p.m eastern nikki um you're welcome christina was there anything else no, I think you got I'm it thinking all. your first course, Shirley. I'm thinking you are very smart. Um, I think I got them all. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Happy weekend. We'll see you Monday. And I'll probably pop in here and there, you know, like I do. Happy crafting. See you all later. <laughs>